Um, we've got Awake NY have collaborated with Carhartt and it's flipping good. I've just seen this, right? I don't know if this is old news and everyone else is kind of aware of what's going on, but this looks really good, man. Um, Angelo Back, have you pronounced his name? Um, one of the um, ex honchos at Supreme who kind of decided to hang up his Supreme hat and go and seek pastures new and start his own little project, which he, he was doing already at the side when he was at Supreme. Because if you know... Angelo's background, you know, he's kind of, you know, part of the original Nom de Guerre crew. That was like a kind of old school streetwear staple back in the day during the whole retail mafia era. So he was always doing the wake on the side. But I guess if you're working full time at Supreme, there is no time to kind of run your own little micro brand. So he had to decide what you're going to do going forward. And there's only so much juice you can give to Supreme before you start thinking, you know what, I want to speak to kids in my own way. And for the most part, I think as per usual, the, the thing I like about streetwear in general, personally for me, is that we tend to give brands time to grow and to kind of mature. And then they kind of have, they kind of have to show and prove. If they're good, you back them. If they're not good, you just ditch them in the end in it and you go somewhere else. But it's nice to see like us giving brands an opportunity to kind of get more successful over time. And I guess um, Awake and this car collaboration is a good example of this because i think the first collection i saw from awake i wasn't that impressed with i was a bit like that's oh, a bit basic but then over time you started to see him introduce some different pieces some hats some t-shirts you got to see his artistic vision in terms of the lookbooks in terms of the models used the photography the tones everything was kind of pointing to the direction of, okay cool this guy's got a bigger vision a bigger goal in mind just as opposed to just making clothes there's something else he's trying to do something else he's trying to say which kind of Again, maybe you think, okay, cool. Now it makes sense why he left Supreme. Because I guess most people, especially if you're obsessed with working in cool places and you don't care about creating or making your own thing or kind of leaving your own little mark on the cultural timeline, you would be like, oh my God, I can leave Supreme. But, you know, if you have a bigger vision for yourself or you think you need, you, there's more you can offer the world and you want to just create and maybe speak to a different audience, then why not? Right? It's on your job. It's a cool one, don't get me wrong, but it's still a job at the end of the day, isn't it? So um, this Awake car collaboration kind of, for me, marks... Um, awake really going to the next level this is kind of them really carving out their own little path and really solidifying their position as one of the kind of uh, undercover brands to kind of look out for in the street right in the, in the street market at the moment there's so many i think i mentioned it previously like if you're a kid now and you're obsessed only with palace and supreme you're really cutting yourself short there's so many other good brands out there that can supply that look for you um without kind of you know having to um without having to kind of you know uh you know, lose a lose a part of your own dignity trying to get these things when you go and queue up at the store or try and buy stuff online. So this is a lookbook here from Hype Beast. It says the following: uh, Awake NY reworks car heart work in progress staples and a new collaborative capsule. And what I like about this straight away is that the first two shots, boom, color. I don't think I've seen a car heart collaboration with this much color ever in my life. It's always kind of been really monotone, really pulled back, stripped back, basic workwear color schemes you know the browns and navies the blacks um yeah the sandy kind of colorways that's it you don't really see a car you don't see car anything in this like bright fuchsia blue uh with this orange and a lime green lining with contrast stitching massive look contrasting logos big logos on the beanie hat like it's really really bright really colorful and again really fun and playful i love everything about it um so again you got this amazing i don't know sure what jacket that is from carhartt work in progress i'm not sure what model that is that he's wearing there at the top but i love it it's got sort of lime green inner you've got a nice hoodie as well with i'm always i've, I've been a big fan of contrast stitching for a while i think that's why i like the i think it was was it stussy and carhartt um that was it that black suit they had it was like a track suit it had like a work jacket with some bottoms in it with some yeah i'm pretty sure it was a it was it might have been a car collaboration it sold out instantly though um, it's all like a jacket with like contrast stitching like black with like my favorite is obviously black with white contrast and stitching like you know give me an outfit with black and contrast and white contrast and stitching and i'll wear that every single day man so good so yeah i love the colorway the color scheme is really really good um i like the addition of these pockets or whatever they may be oh you know what they might be those pockets they might be the same pockets that you get when you uh when you wear carhartt when you buy carhartt trousers or the kind of workman trousers they've got their little kind of you know tall or I think accessory pockets at the front where you can kind of throw some shit in. Um, it reminds me of that. So they've kind of taken those pockets and put them on the top of the jacket. And you get these nice little pockets that you can kind of rest your hands in. Do that kind of bad man, you know, the little bad man pose. 
um yeah massive love it man big logos on the back again for me not not for me personally the logos on the back but i guess if you're speaking to a particular demographic a particular age group they're gonna absolutely love it uh great colors again the one in black and pink is just insane with the contrasting hoodie and the beanie that look on the left is really good and again man just awesome like great use of models great shoot uh great beanie great collection everything in it looks really really good man i really like it it's an amazing collection i'm sure i'm not sure how this flew under my radar but very very good work from awake um following on this is a release this is a text from them following on from the release of the collaboration with sports trekker boot the timberland last week the new york based uh, streetwear imprint awake ny has returned with a workwear heavy range alongside carhartt which is you have to think especially if they got new york in their name and you see this collaboration this looks very very much like new york but done in a very contemporary way I'm sure the kids out there now that would wear car would want to wear it this way, or maybe it's just a, it's just him riffing on the kind of DIY, do it yourself, sort of like custom uh, fashion trend that's happening at the moment with kids sort of like flaring their jeans and spray painting, whatever it may be called. Because I can imagine if he gave this to an artist of some notoriety, like if he gave these jackets and pieces to maybe like an ass piece or someone, they would make this look sick. Um, anyway, continue on. Uh, Sports Trekker boot from Timberland. The Wake and Rise returned with a workwear heavy range alongside Car WIP, offering um, 12 pieces in total. The newly unveiled capsule brings together Carhartt's utilitarian, utilitarian, however you pronounce that word, aesthetic alongside the Wake Street a uh, few sensibilities. Um, aptly taking inspiration from vintage hunting gear, the capsule highlights the workwear brand's Michigan coat staple rework to include contrasting pockets oh okay it's a, it's a jacket that that michigan state panels throughout finished with an embroidered co-brand on the back side the two brands have also included a car whip script sweaters offered up in three unique contrasting colorways they're going to be available on january 17th which is today so definitely check that out if you're that way inclined it looks amazing they've got a pop-up shop happening now in paris because that's where all the menswear peeps are at so definitely make your way over there if you want to do that because this looks amazing i love it all man all looks really really cool very very cool probably my favorite cap car collection i've seen in a while man I, I quite liked um i think the recent one Dover street market north face i thought that was pretty cool the dsm stuff but this is really really nice man really really nice i gotta be honest it's super super good good stuff from carhartt or from everyone involved love it and the way it goes smashing man yeah but that that black and pink one woof, this one here that's the one bro. that is the one that is the one so good but yeah check it out should be available later on today at all your wake places and again if you're in paris then definitely go pop by the pop-up shop to see it for yourself 